Hello guys, welcome to Cloud Tech. So in today's video, we are going to discuss a very important interview question, which was asked in Amdocs. The candidate has one year of experience and the question is like this. And the candidate is given an array and he has to print the first repeating character or first repeating element from the array. So if you look at the array, the first repeating element is nine and hence the output will be first repeating element is nine. So let's try to solve this problem. The first thing we are going to do is uh, write a main method, which is always the starting point of my program. The next thing is I'm going to write a method which is uh, going to perform this logic. Uh, that is going to be a static method and it is not going to return anything uh, as it is going to print the first repeating element. So print first repeating is my method and it accepts an uh, integer array. All right, so after accepting the integer array, uh, the first thing I'm going to do is integer minimum equal to uh, minus one. Uh, this will hold the index of the first repeating element. Now I'll uh, try to declare a hash set because uh, what I'll do, I'll keep on iterating through my array and keep on adding those elements to the hash set. So if the element is already present in the hash set, that signifies the element is repeated. So let me declare a hash set. Uh, has set of uh, integer. Uh, I'm going to name this as set is equal to new has set. All right. So I declare the has set. I'll uh, remove the uh, problem statement to make a uh, more window for you and to make it visible. Now I declared the has set. Uh, let me iterate through the array for integer i equal to zero. I is less than uh, array dot length so i'm going to iterate from zero till array dot length minus one and then i plus plus so this is uh, the iteration logic uh, instead of iterating from uh, less than i'm going to make this less than or equal to zero so while iterating i'm going to check if the element is already present in the hash set and to check that hash set is given a method which is known as contains so set dot contains if the element is there or not so this i'm going to check it here so once i check if the element is present then i'm sure that uh, this is the first repeating element so minimum i'm going to update the index to i and i'm going to break it because i just want to find the first repeating and then finish the programming logic if the element is not present in the has set that means still the this is not the repeating element in that case, I'm going to add the element to the hassle. So set dot add and what I'm going to add array of I. So this is what I'm going to add to my hassle. So once I add the element to the hassle, I'm going to check if uh, my index is still minus one or if my index is updated to some other value. So to do that, I'm going to check if uh, minimum is not equal to minus one which means i found the element which is repeated uh, in that case uh, i'm going to write repeating element is what is the repeating element the element at index minimum so i'm going to do arr of minimum so this is my repeating element else if the index is minus one that means no element is repeated in the array so let me do this out no repeating element so this is the logic of uh, print first repeating let's try to test the logic so to test the logic uh, i'm going to declare an uh, integer array uh, which holds the value so let me take uh, three five six four three five six three and four so this is my array and if you see three is repeated twice so now i'm going to call my method uh, print first repeating and i'm going to pass the array so let me try to run the program so i'm going to see run the program and going to check so the repeating element is three so our logic is working fine uh, let me do one thing uh, let me remove all the repeating elements so now there is no repeating element so if i run this program now so there is no repeating element uh, thank you guys for watching. If you like my content, please subscribe to the channel.